As I mentioned in the last video, there's a good chance that whoever you are, you will have at least one good route to market. Often it's just a matter of thinking hard enough. In fact, you might have several routes to market staring you right in the face, routes you might not have thought about until now. For example, it might be your friends. Now, let's say you're marketing to the gardening niche and that you know someone who runs a magazine on gardening with a readership of 5,000. This is a fantastically easy route to market for you, especially as there's probably a website with a forum involved too. Just ask nicely and see if they will cover your story. They should say yes, as this is a win-win situation for you both. They get content and you get exposure. Another example might be your old college paper. If you're alumni from a university with a particularly big fashion department, then this could be the perfect place to sell your ebook on getting into the fashion industry. Essentially, this is a form of influencer marketing, with the only difference being that you're aiming for an influencer you already know versus desperately trying to find one. Plan B, try desperately to find one. Another great way to accomplish the same thing as I've just mentioned is to simply find an influencer that you can work with and then simply reach out to them. You can either pay them to give you a shout out or you can do something in return as a favor. A great example is to write a guest post for a blog. This is a strategy commonly used to build links to a website, but it can actually be just as effective when it's used as a way to get direct sales. Find a blog that accepts contributions from other writers, then offer to write them an article for free that they can publish on their site in exchange for including a link to your website, which is just a landing page with your affiliate product. If you can get on a blog with hundreds of thousands of people reading, then you can potentially get your link seen by thousands overnight, which could be enough to fix you up for life. Yes, sometimes it really does come down to that one link and that one key site. So how do you reach these big influencers who are leading your niche? There are two strategies that actually work. The first one is to interact with them in person. Go to networking events or even hire their services. Either way, create an actual relationship in person. And the second is to build your way up. Don't approach Tony Robbins when you only have a readership of one. Instead, Aim for someone much smaller and then gradually look for bigger and bigger affiliates. This way, you should always be on the level with the person you're asking for help, which means there's much more likely to be something in it for them as well as for you. It also means that you're less likely to get laughed out of their inbox.